Okay. The lecture is recording now. Let us begin now. Uh. So for today, for today, before I continue with the chapter unit four, unit four is about BMC uh, canvas, business model canvas. Let's look at the assessment details because I remember the first week I didn't explain it very detailed. So today we refer back to the outcome. Uh, not outcome, cost outline, cost outline for the assessment detail uh, before we continue. Right, so the first is about individual assessment. For the individual assessment, you can see that we have uh, individual assessment that is squeezed, 10%, cover all the 11 units. So this will be conducted in week 12. So normally we conducted during the lecture time, lecture hour. So 30 questions, online quiz, we will do it using Schoology, right? So the second individual assignment uh, is actually a photo and a video. A photo 10% and a video 20%. So for this photo, for this photo, you can take any product or service and you capture a photo of the product or service from 90 degree angle. In another word, you, you put the product on the table and you capture it from the top. Okay, put the product on the table and you capture it from the top, from a 90 degree angle. So this is uh, one of the assignments you have to do it uh, early. You have to do it early, submit by week, uh, week six. I think 19 November 2021, uh, week six. Uh. So what you have to do is you have to create one Instagram account. Okay, remember this Instagram account should be set as public, open to everyone. So we always say you create one account, one Instagram account for your uh, business activity as well as your individual assignment. Okay, so you use this account for your individual assignment, you submit the link of the photo to me later using Google Form. Okay, I will provide you with the link later. You only need to submit one photo, but you can take many photos and then you compare the photos before you submit to me. Yeah? So this is the first. The second individual assignment or the more difficult one is the video creation. You have to create the video. In this video, we have two contents, two contents, two minutes for product or service review or advertisement or tutorial. So two minutes for this and another two minutes for individual sales uh, or individual performance, individual achievement during the practicum activity. So you prepare one video for two purposes. So two minutes for video of a product review and two minutes for individual achievement video. So altogether, not more than five minutes. Okay, not more than five minutes. This one you can submit by week about week 12 or 13, uh, by 21st of January. So it's around um, before the end of the semester. Okay, before the end of the semester. Normally for video creation, we require you to create a YouTube account. So normally TikTok channel don't allow more than one minute. So we require you a YouTube account and you all upload your video in the account and then send me the link. Same thing, huh? you send me the link. So for both individual assessment under this category, you only send me the link, not the, the photo or the video directly, but send me the link and um, I will check it one by one. So your, your account, YouTube account must be open especially the video must be open for public okay so next the third part will be group assessment group assignment in another word one is uh number three yeah? number three is pre-business assessment so this one you have to do it latest by and uh next month early next month latest by 8th of November. So you have to do a presentation of BMC report. So this week, I will explain to you what do you mean, what is BMC report. Okay, I will show you the 
as the BMC report as well as the the assessment guideline. Huh? How are you going to be assessed if you are presenting this presentation? So after that, after that, next week you have to present already because this week is week three and next week you have to present a draft. So we expect that after the lecture today, I will give you about half an hour. You spend this time wisely. Don't just uh, go out and say bye bye to your group mate or to your your class. But you use. I will give you half an hour. I, I hope to to have enough time for you. Uh, at least half an hour for you to discuss what you can do for for this. Okay, BMC draft report. So you have to complete uh, or at least prepare the slide report by this week and you have to present next week already. Okay, so presentation will be about 10 minutes presentation, 10 minutes presentation to, to about not more than 15, 10 to 15 minutes presentation and plus few minutes of uh, Q&A. All right, so you can do live presentation or pre-recorded video, but I always encourage you to do live presentation. Okay, if you are, your internet I love you. Then do live presentation. So, how many of members? How many members you use? Uh, you can out of six or seven members. Okay, uh, maybe three or four of you do the presentation, and the remaining members who can do the second presentation by the at the end of the semester. So, every one of you will have at least one opportunity, one at least one uh, opportunity to do presentation, either this first presentation or the later presentation. So, presentation is 15%. After that, you by using this presentation, after with that, uh, with this presentation, you have to do a you have to do a final report, okay? With the presentation, you have to do a final report. And this final report is actually based on the presentation. After the presentation, I will give you some comments, uh, some suggestion to improve. So with that, you prepare the final report. So the final report should be something in more detail something in more detail and then uh, you you write it in uh, either words okay or other any other software and submit the the worst, uh, written report in pdf format to me okay written report maximum not more than 10 pages but you can have more uh, in appendix reference and cover page and the last group assignment num number four is what we call post business and post business assessment actually so for post business assessment we have you have one business e portfolio draft report okay this draft report is after the expo after the epic expo uh, by uh, in the early january uh, this is the deal in early january similar to the first one you can do live presentation or pre-recorded video Okay, uh, this one is maximum 15 minutes or a uh, few more, lah, not more than 20 minutes. Lah. And for the business e-portfolio final report, okay, this one should be written in a website. Not the common way that you write in a, any Word document and then you submit in PDF or words or anything. No, wrong. This one must be submitted uh, or write down in website or blog or any website, like any type of uh, online website. And then you, you improve the, your e-portfolio time by time and you submit to me the link, uh, the link. Okay, submit the link, not the, the whole thing. I will check the link. Uh, you check your report based on the link. Okay, so you can see that in, uh, in EPK, in EPK, the submission is uh, slightly different, okay? It's not you submitted the whole video or the photo to me, but you submitted using other ways, okay? So this is to show that you you know how to use uh, Instagram. I, I believe you know how to use Instagram. You, you know how to do, uh, at least you try to upload video and prepare a website together with your team members. 
All right. Do you have any questions about this? Yes, yeah. Let me open the chat first, no? That's the chat. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think I have one question by Wilbert. Um, okay. Uh, doctor, the product review can be anything. Yes, you can review anything. Okay, you can review anything. Uh, later, I will share with you the, the link of your senior's project. Okay, the link of your senior project. You can have a look. Okay, you can either do, like I say, the product review. Okay, uh, this is the, the under number two, uh, individual assignment. The product review, product review, it can be you take any type of product in hand, for example, handphone, your new handphone, for example, and then you start to review the creativity or, or the uniqueness of the handphone. Okay, why do you purchase this handphone? How much is the price? Uh, uh, the value of purchasing or using this handphone, why do you use this handphone? Okay, the limitation may be, uh, what are the li possible limitation maybe it's too expensive or whatever okay for this handphone or you can do advertisement okay you can see a uh, lot of advertisement in, in the tv or in the youtube channel whatever advertisement you can prepare an, an advertisement and in that advertisement you try to do promotion for a product or you can do a tutorial for example you are you want to sell a product about uh, uh, a product about cheese cream cheese for example okay cream cheese so you prepare a tutorial of uh, using that cream cheese cream cheese to prepare uh, to make a cake okay to make a cake for example uh, just just for example so uh, so this is a way to promote the product because you are using a tutorial tutorial to teach people how to use this product and then with the purpose of you want to sell that product Okay, so there are uh, quite a lot of people um, doing a tutorial as well. Okay, uh, I will but need to include unboxing. Unboxing, you mean unboxing the product, not necessary. Okay, <laughs> not necessary. You can have any creative way to do the, the unbox, uh, the, the video review. Okay, any creative way to do the product review. But provided it is uh, something that very creative, you are not just copy and paste what people are doing. Okay, you can. Um, and then uh, there are many ways of doing it. It's not necessarily for you to show the face. Okay, it does semestinya tunjuk muka. And it's not tita semestinya you show your own face. You can also show your friend's face if they are willing to be your your model in your video or they are willing to help you out with your video anything okay and you can do editing of the video like um like you want to improve the the image in the video you want to make it nicer and better in the video then you have actually you actually have to uh, improve the quality of video yes you can do that but provided the the, the video is something that originally prepared by you okay is something that uh, original prepared by you not something that you download the video is not something that you download from the website and you combine into your video no not something uh. like uh, um, some of your friends okay they uh, last semester they promote the game and they just copy the the the, the video about the game into their video this is something that we don't accept but if you show me uh using your own way uh, how the game is being played okay lah, that is acceptable but if you just copy and download the video from other website or other people uh, with uh, video this is not acceptable eh? okay uh, any more questions Mm, okay, let me answer the question by Chin Kan Kin first. So, doctor, is the due date for BMC draft report on next week or first November or at November? Okay, like this. For draft report presentation, it must be week four. 
Okay, it is week four. We practice it for so many years already, so many semester. But after you prepare the the, uh, after you present, you have one week to submit the PowerPoint slide or any type of slide for the presentation. So by end of November, you have to submit the slide. Okay, by end of some. November, you have to submit the slide. So the due date is end of November. So it means that one week after the presentation, you have to submit the, you have to submit the slide. Okay. All right. Is that okay for you? All right. Uh, let me answer the other question now uh, by Wilbert again. Doctor, about the individual sales achievement, what does it mean by business practical experience? Okay. Um, for this individual sales achievement, actually you explain your own experience during the whole project of doing the thing. For example, you tell me in your uh, in the video, you say, I did uh, I did a poster for the group together with who and who. I, I do together with my friend uh, a teaser together. I do this and I do this. Okay, this is what you are doing. You are not saying, oh, my group is doing. If my group does it mean that you do it or your friends do it? But uh, and then you also can explain uh, what you do, uh, what is your achievement? Okay, another keyword is your achievement, especially your achievement is uh, on on um, how many unit you sell or how many value or product you sell. Okay, this is one the unit or product you sell. Okay, how good is your uh, uh, let's say you do the live yourself, okay, live promotion yourself. What is the response? How good is the response yourself? So that is the achievement, uh, okay. So uh, your question, Wilbert, your question is related to the next question, right, Adiana. So let me explain together. So for Adiana, uh, for the individual sales achievement video, meaning based on the product that we sell as a group, yes. Okay, based on the product that you sell as a group, not based on your individual, uh, you create another product for sale. No, based on the product that you sell as a group. Okay, so Wilbert, did I explain your answer? Is it clear enough? And how about Adiana? Is it clear enough? Okay, so if you have any question, you can ask me later. So, um, okay, since I'm doing this, yeah, I forgot that uh, I have to show you my latest is um, assessment criteria. Okay, forgot, almost forgot. Let me share with you the um the latest window. Yeah, the assessment rubric in an adobe uh, the order assessment criteria. Okay. Okay, so this is the assessment criteria. Later on I will share in the schoology. Yeah? So uh, for the assessment criteria for the pre-business pitching, there are a few things that we look at. So the first one is brand identity, image and uh, tagline. Yeah? Okay, brand identity, image, and tagline. So, meaning that when you start to think of a product, you think of uh, how the product uh, to be branded. Okay, how the product to be branded. So, you can compare good and weak later. So, the second thing is, is the product suitable for the market? 
Okay, so you, if let's say, uh, let's say you say, uh, I want to sell this product to students, okay, students in UMS, let's say, uh, um, so then is this product suitable for students? Okay, so product market fit. So is the product suitable for students? So let's say if your target is you want to sell to um, not students, but you want to sell to a housewife, let's say, yeah, because the coming December is a Christmas, okay, if you are living in uh, Saba or Shawa, you have many friends who are Christian, huh? so you might have chance to sell cookies to them. So if you want to sell cookies to your friends who are celebrating Christmas, so what are the characteristic or what type of product that they like? Okay, what type of product that they like? So your product must be suitable for that market. Next, problem solution narrative. So is uh, is your product suitable to solve all the problems okay, facing by the customers? Let's say customer want a very good quality product. Is your product solve the problems facing by the, the customers? Remember, Last uh, week, uh, Unit 3, we talked about solving problems of customers. We have to solve the problems of customers. So uh, problem solving. Okay? So problem solving. Does we solve the problems of customers or we help make customer more convenient in getting the product? And number four, competitive. So when you uh, explain your business model canvas, we expect you also to explain a little bit about who are your possible competitors? So let's say if you are selling to local consumers, who are your com possible com competitors? Uh? It can be your friends selling the same thing. It can be a local restaurant or whoever selling the similar product with you. Okay. Then next, value proposition. This is one of the very important 15%. What are the value that you 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 try to share or you you show through the presentation number six financial projection do you think that this will create a good uh, return okay uh, or profit to the customers and then risk and strategy so in simple um, we have 100 percent huh? so oh yeah one more uh, executive summary so you show the bmc mapping okay so all together 100%. This is the all the about the uh, rubric, how your presentation will be count, okay? count based on this. Uh, the presentation will be uh, assessed based on this. Uh. So, all right. Okay, next we go to what is the most important is uh, the presentation today, uh, the unit four today. So after today, like I say, I try to finish my lecture in one hour. Then I give you uh, almost half an hour to discuss in your group, okay, to discuss in your group. And you have WhatsApp group together. So um, you can do something like a group, uh, group 10 is doing. So uh, create a group group link okay create a group for for your member okay and then invite all the members to join that group like what group not group 10 group uh yeah group 10 is doing okay group 7 already you have your group link right okay so other group also you can do the same thing okay other group also can do the same thing so you invite your friends to join your group at later on you can start your discussion today so Okay, before we continue, let's just look at one video. What it is it mean by business model canvas? Huh? Clear or not? It's, it's a... An organization's business model can be described with nine basic building blocks. Your customer segments, your value proposition for each segment, the channels to reach customers. 
customer relationships you establish. The rep I'm sorry, cannot cannot go to that mode version. Eh? Revenue streams you generate, the key resources and key activities you require to create value, the key partners, and the cost structure of the business model. But it's not sufficient to just enumerate the nine building blocks. What you really want to do is to map them out on the pre-structured canvas. This is what we call the business model canvas, a tool that helps you map, discuss, design, and invent new business models. Let's briefly go through the nine building blocks, starting with the customer segments. These are all the people or organizations for which you're creating value. This includes simple users and paying customers. For each segment, you have a specific value proposition. These are the bundles of products and services that create value for your customers. Channels described through which touch points you're interacting with customers and delivering value. Customer relationships outline the type of relationship you're establishing with your customers. The revenue streams make clear how and through which pricing mechanisms your business model is capturing value. Then you need to describe the infrastructure to create, deliver, and capture value. The key resources show which assets are indispensable in your business model. The key activities show which things you really need to be able to perform well. The key partners show who can help you leverage your business model, since you won't own all key resources yourself, nor you perform all key activities. Then once you understand your business model's infrastructure, you'll also have an idea of its cost structure. So with the business model canvas, you can map out your entire business model in one image. This works for startup entrepreneurs just as well as for the most senior executives. Okay, so this is the topic that we are looking at today, business model canvas. All right, in simple business model canvas is um, a model that help us to plan for our business. Okay, so help me to plan for our business. Before we continue, let's look at the learning outcome first. So first, to develop generic analytical skills, to identify, analyze, and capture the opportunities, the opportunities in the market, and to apply the tool that is the shop analysis and business model canvas in analyzing and developing new business model and strategies. So for business model canvas, uh, the main purpose is to create or to, to help you to develop a, a new product strategy or a new business okay, to capture the opportunity. So the objective of this is first, introduce you to the various tool available in the business model canvas to facilitate development of effective business strategy and to develop skills in using business model canvas. All right, so we hope that you can know how to use or how to do the business model canvas after after listening to this. Huh? Okay, so the business model canvas is something like this. Um, you can go to the website and just type business model canvas, then you can actually download from that website. Huh? So the you can see there are nine areas there are nine areas the left here is key partners key activities and key resources in red color so this is like the uh, the backstage uh, backstage activity and the most important actually is in the center the value propositions okay this is the most important so it's in the center and on the right hand side with customer relationship channel and customer segment this is all about how to how to capture the the needs and wants of the customers okay how to prepare it for the customers and the orange color cost structure and revenue streams both represent um money okay costs and money so cost you know lah 
you need to pay with money revenue stream also so these two are financial okay this two area represent financial activities okay let's uh, look at this one by one huh? so when you present your business model canvas you must have this model okay you must pre prepare this model and then you type in very short point very short point i don't need to you to explain in very very detail uh, or write in very 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 detailed every part but you can have short form after that you explain uh, uh part by part okay let's look at the first one is business oh sorry before before that huh? okay pmc actually is uh, introduced by oster water in 2008 so the purpose of PMC actually is to help you to analyze. After you analyze, you design and strategizing. Meaning that you come up with a strategy okay, of business model. And actually, you also do a testing whether this business model work or not on paper first. You want to see, is it the relationship uh, between one, one area to another area work or not? So with that, with that, you determine you determine um you determine whether the product can be sell or not so the good thing with business model canvas is actually you can you can have all the nine areas all the nine area together in one view like you can see just now so we have nine areas in a business model canvas okay so this is what Later, you can read it one by one, the important questions. Okay. So, for example, the first area or the most important area is value proposition. This is in the center one, the middle one. So, this is the most important. So, normally when we present, we start with this value proposition because this is one of the most important. And then another very important is on the right the far right side the market segment so if you see the the, the area is larger meaning that is more important eh? so very proposition is to differentiate one company from another company or differentiate one uh oneself one person from its competitors for example for example um there are a few restaurants out there okay uh selling the the same thing for example nasi lemak okay you might have one preference of nasi lemak uh in one restaurant uh, for example you like the nasi lemak in restaurant uh Ahmad, for example uh, then people might ask you why do you like restaurant Ahmad? then you might say uh it's uh nicer lebih wangi lebih sedap uh uh, whatever your reason is so customer might prefer your product because of certain uh, certain thing so for your customer this is the value that they appreciate because they pay two ringgit for nasi lemak in your restaurant they also pay two ringgit for nasi lemak in another restaurant or in Ketai Mama but they still come to your restaurant maybe because of the taste so Value is something that you provided especially extra for the customers. It can be any elements. Huh? It can be new, something very new, like uh, a new handphone huh? with new function and performance. Or customize, uh, the product is specially made for a customer. Uh, reliability meaning that uh, you can trust a uh, very good product. It will not break down. Like sometimes you want to call suddenly your handphone cannot work. Uh, this is not good. We need something that will uh, a product which is reliable. The design of it, the brand, the price, the cost reduction or risk reduction reduce the risk of using another product. Accessibility. Sometimes people come to your restaurant because it's nearer to their uh, house. That is the only reason. Okay, so accessibility also is a value. Satu nilai. Okay, so uh, in another word, uh, this is the extra value that attract the customers to come to buy your product. So for customers, they always look at, oh, this is the value provided. 
so I want to buy this product. Okay, so for cast, so value proposition must be related to customers. So uh, in the rubric just now, I show you the product must be related to the market, fit to the market. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so value proposition can be anything. Okay, can be uh, of uh, any reason can be unique selling proposition, very unique product that makes the product better than the competitors, or it can be feature advantage benefit with certain good benefit that make the product better than another another competitor's product. Okay, so um, if I say FAB is refers to a process that makes helps an entrepreneur figure out what each product features mean to customers enables the entrepreneur address their concern, desire, wants, and need, and produce a product space on the preference. So in another word, there are two ways of uh, thinking, okay? One is, one way of thinking is you need to create something really unique, different from your competitors. Second thinking is you want to think of what can help the customer to solve their problem, okay? What can help the customers to solve the problem? And these two, can be combined together okay what can help the customers to solve the problem what can be very unique with your product these two ideas can be combined to create one good product okay so when you look at value proposition like uh, just now i say there are many these are some of the examples like solve problem um, make it more efficient speed up more efficient innovation cost reduction reduce cost uh, efficiency or effectiveness, adding value, different, unique, and convenient or accessible. Meaning that customer find it very easy to buy your product. Okay, so this is the first area. And like I say, uh, the second area that is very, very important is actually the market segmentation. Okay, market segmentation. So when you say market here in business, in business market always refers to the people who buy product. So uh, we are referring to, it can be individual customers, it can be a household like a family, it can be also business to business, sometimes business also need to buy product. So market refers to anybody, individual or organization that who are buying the product, who are the customers. So if I say marketing segmentation, segmentation means you divide your customer into different groups, okay, different groups. So how to divide them? You can base on demography. Like I say, uh, let's say if I would like to sell some uh, sweet um, uh, dessert, okay, I like to sell some sweet dessert, then maybe my I can use demography. Then I can target more on female. Huh? Some female prefer dessert. Huh? So female, okay, uh, younger age huh? because uh, elder people doesn't like too sweet. Huh? Worry of a uh, diabetic, whatever. Okay, so younger, younger age, female. So I can use demography. But if I'm selling t-shirt, I'm selling t-shirt, then I can use a lot demography. Okay, t-shirt like uh, t-shirt for male, t-shirt for female. But if I'm selling different uh, T-shirt for for sports, okay, T-shirt for sports, uh, certain style sport, uh, T-shirt for football, okay, then behavior might be a better uh, way of market segmentation, okay. Then you can see uh, in in uh, certain shops they will have a T-shirt or product for um, for people who are playing football, product for people who are playing badminton product for people who are paying different pro uh, activities so they, they have different category so you can also divide the category of product based on the behavior or psychographic that means uh, how they think about that so for example there are consumers who are worried about uh, pollution so they are they prefer organic uh, food Okay, organic food. So this is psychographic. There are also consumers who who are social or economic minded. Okay, so they want to buy a affordable, cheap product. So 
affordable cheap product. Uh, uh. So uh, social economy status can be one of the way to segment the product. So which is the most suitable? Which one depends on your product? Let's say I'm selling car, then social economy maybe is a good reason. So uh, my, uh, for example, my uh, Polo Dua MyV is um, my V for example. My V uh, I sell space on a lower to middle income, maybe a uh, lower to middle income group. And then ex more expensive car like Toyota is selling to a middle income, middle to high. Okay, and more expensive car, even more expensive car like let's say a uh, Mercedes, BMW are targeting the top. Okay, the top uh, economy social status group. So they are have they are based on different group. Okay, and geography for geography. So okay, uh, this is quite suitable for you also. You can say we are selling to consumers in, for example, you are from uh, Sarawak. So you you will focus on customer in Sarawak. Okay, customer in Sarawak, or you have customers in. Um, you are selling in KK, so you are focusing on customer in KK. So you can choose one or two factor to determine who are the, the segment. That means the group of customers that you want. So let's say you are focusing on customers in the uh, UMS area, let's say, uh, then, okay, no problem, customer in a UMS area. So you know who are they and then you decide what product you want to sell to them. Okay, what characteristic of the customers you must be uh, have some characteristic, uh, uh, some ideas in mind. Uh, you know the characteristic of the customers. Next, the third is marketing channel. So marketing channel is uh, actually is about how you deliver the products or service to the end user or customers. Okay, you deliver, deliver. So it's about logistic, actually logistic. Huh? So there are a few questions you ask yourself. Huh? Uh, should I do physical store or I should I promote using social media? Okay, physical store or social media. Then should I uh, ask them to come to collect the products or should I do delivery service? So these are some of the questions that you have to ask. Okay, you have to ask. So if you are selling to people who are very near, then of course you can ask them to come to collect. Or you can have, a, let's say your, your parents have a restaurant, you want to sell something. Okay, okay you tumpang one area to sell is okay also. But uh, physical sale is, uh, we will say, we encourage you to do online sale. Okay, so if you want to do physical sale, you still allowed to do that, okay? You still can do physical sale instead of uh, online sale. But online sale is um um okay sorry uh, I should say uh, you can do physical sale beside online sale, okay? Beside online sale, so means that you can do both physical and online sale, but you must do some online sales also online promotion kind of thing. Okay, next is customer relationship. So customer relationship means that how are you going to maintain the type of relationship with your specific customer segment? So in another word, how, how do you build the connection with the customers? Are you using social media like uh, Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp to build up the relationship? So every time you have new product, you just WhatsApp your customer, I have this new product, do you want to try? Okay, or, or you post your product in the Instagram so your friends see, oh, this is the product. Uh, then your friends say, oh, I want to buy. Or your customers say, ah, I want to buy. So this is about the relationship. Huh? Your customer will, will, uh, will uh, you have to establish and how you, your customer and you connect to each other or talk to each other in another word. So when we build up the customer relationship at the beginning, at the beginning, okay, we must the first thing of what is the objective? From the very beginning, normally we, our target is to attract customer. Very, very beginning, huh? when you start your business, attract customer. After you attract 
Then only you say, I want to increase sales. After increase sales, then you want to retain the customer. Retain means they buy from you one time, then you hope that they will come to buy again second time. Okay, so if they come back to buy again second time, meaning that you already keep the customer uh, in, with your product. Okay, you already retain the customers. Okay, so if they are happy enough, then they can be your royal customer. So they will come to buy from you many, many times. Okay, in future. So increase the royal. After you decide your objective, okay, then you determine what you want to offer to your customer. For example, coupon, royalty card, discount, free sample, or even you give them some personal advice how to use that product and warranty. Yeah? So these are some offer that you can give to your customers if needed to build up the relationship let customer know your product and like your product for example you also can give like tester if you are producing food tester a little bit for a customer to try if you have free sample or you can give for your customer to try okay then number five your key partners so key partners Bukan rakan kongsi ya. It's not the the partners you you think of. Saya sediakan sebuah syarikat perkongsian, okay? Partnership. Kemudian uh, semua ahli ya, tujuh orang dalam kumpulan ini sebagai rakan kongsi. Jadi mereka key partner wrong, okay? Bukan, okay? They are not your key partners. Key partners here refers to external uh, people who outside the company. It can be network of suppliers or partners that make the business model work okay so supplier or partners for example uh, like the example i give earlier like your just example uh, your parents might have one re small restaurant or one place for sale so you tumpang lah saya dapatkan satu kelai uh, tumpang satu kelai and to sell a little bit my product or i do a little bit of promotion of my product Okay, so the restaurant actually is your partner because they help, they give you a place to do promotion. So this is your partner as well. And then your, you, when you do delivery, okay, you are not deliver yourself. Huh? You, you take order and deliver. So you get a runner to help you to deliver the things. The runner can be anybody. It can be your parents also. It can be your brother or anyone who help you to deliver. So the runner also can be your key partners because they help you to deliver your business, okay? deliver your business. So companies should remember that when you do the uh, connect with your key partners, okay, you have to find out partner that will help you to, to do your business. And then we help you to reduce your risk because you don't want to get contact with your customers okay? because of this pandemic area, so, uh, pandemic uh, time. Huh? So what happened is, you get, okay, you get, um, instead of you, you face the risk, instead of you face the risk, then you get a runner to help you to deliver, actually help you to de uh, reduce the risk or help you to get more resources. This is the purpose of partnership, okay, partnership. And number six, key activity. So now you are talking about what should you do? What should you do? Huh? So key activities are activities that a company must do in order to make its business model work. Something that you must do. So normally, normally the type of activities that you must do depends on what company or what business you are doing. Okay, you must do. So for example, restaurant, one of the things must do is cooking, okay, cleaning preparing ingredients and so on. Okay, but for website company, you do website design, marketing, uh, you do other things. But for beauty product, you might have even other more than that. You might need to uh, have tutorial to teach people how to do, uh, how to use this product, okay? To teach people how to use this product, to show people or how to make it yourself more beautiful with my beauty product, kind of. Uh, this kind of uh, tutorial, for example. So, when we design for key activities, normally I will say you you think of three, three, uh, three time frame. Huh? The first is 
before you sell. Okay, before you sell. So before you sell, what should you do? Think out. Okay, I have to do marketing. Okay, first thing, I have to introduce my friends of this product. I think yes, before before you sell, and then after that, I maybe have to show them some photos. So I have to prepare sample of photos, but I will to show to my friends. That is before you even sell the product. After that, you can also do uh, take order. Then you can say, okay, I want to take order. Anyone want to buy this? Okay, now I collect order. So this is before sale. Okay, take order. So during the sale is if you are preparing the food yourself, okay, you have to buy the ingredient, cook it, and then packet it, and then uh, get it ready for delivery. So, and then after that, you have to uh, deliver to the customer and customer pay you the money. So this is during, okay, during the sales. And after sales, people must ask, after sales, ada lagi? Ada. After sales, you still have to do something. That is, normally after sales is, we ask them, are you satisfied with the product? If you give me some comments about my product, okay? This sort of questions, okay? People uh, people might, might um, ask, uh, you might ask your customer for feedback. Eh? So that is important. Then, some customer might ask you if you are selling uh, like beauty product. Customer might ask you, uh, mana guna? Okay, then you will you will explain to them. Oh, you can use this 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 way, okay, uh, to improve the effectiveness of that product, whatever. Okay, if you are doing website counting, then a customer might ask you, uh, I think that uh, I want to improve this. How to do? You might explain a little bit, help them to do a little bit. Okay, so. Think of the key activities from before sales, during sales, and after sales. Okay, so then area number seven is key resources. Okay, you have to think of what other resources that you have. First thing is capital. So you might uh, have capital that combined from your friends. Huh? So if seven of you, then setiap orang dua guru ringgit, for example. 20 ringgit from each one of you. So you have times seven, if seven or times six of you. So you have 120 ringgit. Okay, this is the modal, modal syarikat capital. Okay, modal syarikat. Human talent, what talent you have in your group? So later on, when you start your group discussion, you ask among your friends, huh? uh, apakah kemahiran masing-masing? So some of your friends might be very good in preparing cookies, Cake, we're even very good in cooking. Okay, so special recipe. Huh? So if you have special recipe, di bawah sini, special recipe. Okay, dari nenek yang sangat sedap, for example. Huh? Okay, so recipe is also one of the talent or, or one of the resources that you can think of. And also, if let's say lah, some of your friends are very good in designing, so why not? You, you have one designing together, okay? Let's say if you are good in designing, then you can have a designing uh, thing, uh, designing activities together. Then distribution, so you distribute the product. Uh, maybe you have uh, cars, so it helps you to distribute the product to the customers, or you have, uh, you know, some business partner who can provide you with some resources sometimes, uh, Sometimes um, it happens in the past is some group, they find uh, people who can help them to, to do consultation. So they, they, uh, they create a company called consultation, uh, diet consultation, uh, diet consultation company. But they are too young to do consultation themselves. Okay. So they uh, get a professional therapist, okay, professional, to, to help them to do the consultation. So business partner okay, and networking, if you have experience in this. So these are all the resources that you can have. And next, cost structure. So for cost structure, remember, you think of uh, the salary and wages to be paid to yourself also, if you are preparing the food yourself. Think of the salary for people who preparing the food. 
okay and the rental or utilities you have to pay okay kalau uh, buat cookies ah huh? remember you keep on cooking uh, the cookies in the oven if you spend a lot of electricity you have to count this okay electricity into the cost count okay about machinery or equipment do you need to buy uh, cost per unit and lastly marketing cost or any other promotional cost and last number nine is revenue streams revenue huh? so uh, from where you can get your payment okay uh, so normally for revenue streams there are three questions that we ask first what value your customer are paying like for example MACD here people are paying not only for the food but also sometimes you can see not during the pandemic and before the pandemic you can see uh, some parents they purposely bring their kids to MACD um, just because the MACD are providing them with a playground, certain MACD land, playground for the kids to play. So they bring the children there. So that are the extra value that they are looking for, for young parents with young children. Okay, parents with young children. That are the value. So, but for other, other customers, they might look for other value. Okay, for example, uh, faster or they like the food, whatever reason. Huh? And next, what and how do they recently pay? How do they pay? Cash? Cash on delivery? Or uh, we don't say credit card, e-wallet. Okay, bayar dengan boots ke, whatever type of e-wallet that you can pay through. Okay, so how much does every revenue stream contribute? Okay, so... You can think of, beside that is MACD, for example, first, they, of course, they are selling the food, but they are also doing catering, for example, people having birthday in MACD, yeah? catering or event organizer. So they have um, many different methods. Huh? So, all right. So after you look at the nine areas, let's look at the questions that you have to ask for every one area. Where is the questions? Okay, let me enlarge it now. So we start again from the most important. So, okay, remember for value proposition, yalah, apa kan nilai yang kita bagi? What are the value that we propose or we give to the customer? So the first question we ask is, what value do we deliver to the customers? Is it the value of the food itself or the value of the service? Okay. Next, which one of our customers' problems are we help to solve? What problems do you solve? Okay. What problems do you solve? Then, what bundles of products and services are we offering to each segment? So, you are not selling just one product. Sometimes you sell in a bundle. So, you sell a burger with a drink, for example. Huh? Or you sell a uh, nasi lemak with a uh, teh tarik. Okay. So that's a bundle. Okay. Which customer needs are we satisfying? Apakah permintaan yang kita memuaskan? Okay. What needs? Uh, is it uh, craving for food? Is that the need? Or customer prefer convenient? Or customer prefer something that effective or efficient? Okay. So what is the minimum viable product? So if, if a customer has limited budget, lah, don't have much money, lah, so he might say, oh, I don't want to buy everything. I just want to buy the cheapest one. So which one is the cheapest one? For example, instead of buying a bundle, he buy just a, a nasi lemak. Okay? Just a nasi lemak. So that is the cheapest. Two ringgit is the cheapest. So you have to ask the question. Okay. Next is customer segments. So customer segment here, look at here. So we might ask question for whom are we creating the value? Siapa? Okay, siapa? Who are our most important customers? Who are they? And what are the types of customers or what are the characteristics of customers? Apakah ciri-ciri pembeli? Okay, ciri-ciri. So let's say, uh, my example just now, uh, let's say I'm showing uh, T-shirt, 
to to like you like young adult or teenagers so apakah ciri ciri kamu ya lah you are maybe uh, you like something fashionable you like something in bright color uh, some of you are uh, bright color maybe something uh, unique design very cute uh, design uh, very cute very unique design kind of t-shirt for example uh. so for male for male that's more, more for female right for male maybe you need something different so you have to know what are the type of customers and what are the product that they like okay the type of customers and the product that they like then we look at customer relationship like i say how to maintain the relationship with the customers so we we ask question like how do we get keep and grow our customers which customers relationship have we established how are they interpret with the rest of our business model and how costly are they so you also have to think let's say i want to prepare sample okay think of what is the cost of sample katakan untuk cookies huh? cookies people prepare people prepare sample of cookies then you have to cut it into small pieces, very small pieces for people to try because you want to reduce your cost. Okay, so the cost is one thing. So when you think of customer relationship, it can be uh, giving like free sample uh, only or you just keep it cheap, like showing them with photos, explain to them uh, the uniqueness of the product, sharing them with videos, all those things. And then channel. Mm, bottom here a little bit channel like i say is about logistic uh, uh, also is about how to the products uh, get to reach the customer how do the product reach the customer so we we might think of uh do i need a runner to help me to deliver or can i get the customers to come to buy or to take it from my uh, house or whatever like a uh, certain certain uh, restaurant you can see uh, um, like they are using uh, food panda for example uh, if you are asking for delivery it will be more expensive but if you collect it yourself okay uh, you go to their restaurant to collect it it will be cheaper so you can think of this okay if they come to collect it your from you it will be cheaper then don't need to pay the delivery then the if the runner very expensive you ask them to pay okay so something like t-shirt you can like um, post post uh, using post laju lah. you can use post laju but things like cookies nasi lemak yeah so you cannot ask them to 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 post them. so you might need a runner to help you deliver so think of the cost Okay, so you also think of how about other company? Okay, how are they doing? So which ones works best? Okay, which ones are most cost efficient? The cheapest, huh? cheapest, the easiest way to do. And how are we integrating with customer routine? Okay, let's say customer who want to buy breakfast. What time shall we sell our nasi lemak? Kalau nasi lemak ini untuk breakfast. Pukul berapa perlu kita jual? Takkan kita jual pukul 10, orang sudah makan. So you have to think of uh, this product, what time is the best time for people to eat the product and you think of what time should you send it okay, for from the customer point of view. And next, we look at, uh, sorry, we have to go to key partners. So who are our key partners? Uh, who are our key suppliers? Which key resources are we requiring, acquiring from our partners? And which key activities do our partners perform? And for key activities, like I say, you think of uh, activities before sales, during sales, and after sales. So you think of what activities do uh, your value proposition require? Uh, and packaging also very important. So you have to think of for packaging to make it nice, Packaging, what do I need to do? Let's say I need a sticker of the pack, uh, logo of the company, for example. Our distribution channel, how do I improve that? All these are key activities. Okay, and key activities might be relation to, uh, related to customer relationship. So, for example, uh, you need to provide sample. So, you need to 
key activities to prepare sample. Okay, if you need to provide sample in customer relationship, you need provide sample. So your key activity is to prepare a sample. Okay, and how it affect the cost and our revenue. Next question is about key resources. So what key resources do your value proposition require? Apakah sumber yang diperlukan? Okay, remember, not only the, the tools or equipment, but also your personal talents. Like I said, your recipe, you, you get it from your grandmother, okay, for example, or your, your talent in design, okay, your knowledge in uh, somewhere, or your, your communication skills, some are very good. When they talk to people, they have very good communication. They know how to influence the customer to buy. Okay, this is also one talent. Huh? So how it affect your resources? So and the last two are the like say related to financial. First is we look at the cost. What are the most important costs to our business? Which key resources are most expensive? Which key activities are most most expensive? And revenue. For what value are our customer willing to pay? For what do we call they currently pay? So it means that you ask you uh, do a market survey. You look at uh kalau nasi lemak orang jual satu setengah, you jual dua ringgit. Then you you have to understand, okay? What are the different that make customer willing to pay fifty cent? Are customer willing to pay the pay the extra fifty cent or not? Kalau orang jual satu setengah, kau jual dua ringgit. Adakah your customer willing to pay for the extra 50 cent? Okay, so what is the revenue model and what are the pricing? So in short, we are looking at uh, the nine areas. So, okay, so for you this week, like I say, I will give you some time for you to start your discussion with your group. Okay, so before, before I stop, here okay remember during our discussion sorry i should go to the, during your discussion okay this is the key activity you have to do uh you already divided into groups so please okay find your members if you cannot find your members you let me know ah kalau tak jumpa rakan rakan kamu tu you let me know okay and Remember, for these key activities, for these key activities, is activities for all the members. Semua ahli ya, bukan activity untuk ketua kumpulan saja. So, I expect all of you to work together. Uh, I think, uh, who is that? Huh? Someone have a question? You can ask question now. Oh, Wilbert, uh, regarding our groups, is it, it is assigned based on the era. I feel uh, I'm... I have to run out at the end of the following the already. Um okay, uh well but right, you are moving back to run out gun. So is it okay, Ka? Is it okay for, for you to just not to move the group? Okay, ka? It's about the answer check group come on. Group sandakan kato. Wait, uh. Uh, if possible, if possible, uh, I hope no more changes in group lah. Sebab saya takut nanti saya confused dan salah simpan kumpulan nanti ya. So, let me check. Uh. Santakan is... Uh, Robert, uh, you, you are in group 6 kan? 6 orang. Around right now, Suda, right now, put a number around Suda. Olega, you you just maintain with your group in Santakan. Olega, will but. Okay, kalau boleh, okay lah. Okay, uh, seperti yang saya bagi tahu tadi, like what I say. Kerja kumpulan. Jadi saya minta semua ahli kumpulan bekerja sama, bekerja sama untuk uh, buat kerja bersama lah. 
Okay, saya sudah cuba buat uh, simpan kamu dalam kumpulan area yang lebih kurang lebih dekat dengan rakan kamu lah. Okay, so dalam kerja aktiviti ini sebenarnya perkara pertama ialah I, I put in the chat room lah. first select a, a leader lah, select a leader lah. Cari ketua kumpulan tu luar. Okay, select a leader. Second is um, you get to know ice breaking lah. You get to know each other. Okay, and you 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 have your group uh, in WhatsApp now. So you try to get to know each other. I know from last year because of the pandemic, you might uh, seldom meet your friend face to face. Ah, huh? so the ice breaking may be more important for your group uh, than your your senior or your other friends. So the ice breaking is important. Just few minutes to introduce yourself, talk about your talents, and if you have some ideas, then you start to discuss uh, what are the ideas you have, okay, or your your thinking, okay. What do you think you can do in the group? And after that, only you start to come up with the BMC. Uh, uh, you suggest in the BMC report. So, okay. So what happened is when you you think of the ideas, you can have uh, two or even three ideas. Okay. Tetapi uh, kamu boleh pilih idea kamu selepas presentation. You can you can think of two or three ideas, and after that you can choose your ideas after the presentation. That means after next week, you still can change a little bit of your idea. But I hope uh, not not too much changes, okay? And remember, seperti uh, satu perkara yang penting ya, first thing is, when you think of the ideas, you also think of what industry you want to do. Katakan industry, food and beverage. F&B, ya? F&B. So what you want to do? F&B, okay? Untuk F&B, what do you want to do? Okay, and... Um, what, um, or if you want to do like a uh, stationery, okay, stationery, what are the product that you want to do? Also think of what product, huh? okay, so any questions you can, you want to ask? Soalan. Kalau tiada soalan, okay. Saya pagi masa kamu uh, ada tiga puluh lima minit start your uh, perbincangan lah. Mulakan perbincangan anda tentang uh, aktiviti minggu depan lah. Seperti yang saya bagi tahu, nombor satu ialah pilih seorang ketua kumpulan. Yang kedua, ice breaking. Uh, pincangkanlah uh, apakah uh, kemahiran ataupun skill masing-masing ke kalau ada lah. Okay. Kemudian kamu fikirkan, kamu fikirkan apakah uh, idea ataupun pro, uh, service ke produk ke yang kamu rasa boleh buat dan pincang bersama. Kemudian perlulah kamu fikirkan apakah PMC, bagaimana kamu sediakan PMC report. Dan jangan lupa, uh, I, I will upload the slide into the Schoology right now together with the course outline. Okay, sediakan kedua-dua ni. Um, kamu boleh baca lah di sini ya. Okay ya. Ya. Tiada soalan? Okay. So I stop the Google Meet now. You start your own discussion. You boleh buat discussion dalam WhatsApp group pun boleh. Discussion dalam Telegram pun boleh. Kalau boleh buat dalam Google Meet pun boleh ya. Okay, boleh buat dalam Google Meet. Kemudian jangan lupa you record. Kalau Google Meet boleh record kan. Record your your perbincangan. Lebih baik uh, nanti you boleh ambil, uh, you get to know each other better. Okay, so thank you. Kalau di atas soalan kita berhenti di sini ya. Jangan lupa um, attendance ah. Ada saya uh, share balik ah dalam chat.
attendance dalam chat ah untuk mereka yang belum belum log in attendance kamu okay attendance dalam chat okay thank you very much thank you doctor thank you doctor thank you doctor thank you doctor thank you doctor